Muslims around the world, they shout Allah Akbar during their azans or call of prayer. Every prayer a Muslim will shout Allah Akbar. That means God is big. The, the etymological meaning of the word Akbar is big. But there are new interpretations of the word. But if you be honest, the word Akbar means big. It's a word which is suggesting comparison. If it is big, then obviously there are smaller ones. If you read the Quran, you will see that during Muhammad's time, the non-Muslims used to believe in small gods or demigods, but they used to believe in Allah as well. But they will take the demigods to be the means to seek help from Allah, the biggest deity. So they were believing in demigods and also Allah as the biggest and the most powerful God. So if you say Allah Akbar, it means Allah is big. I believe it to be against the pivotal teaching of Quran. Chapter 112 of the Quran defines the characteristics of Allah or attributes of Allah is a very short chapter and the last verse of the chapter says Kufu an Ahad that means Allah are, is unique and non-comparable for example Allah is the only entity to give life no other entity has the power to give life so he is unique. He is all powerful. Nothing can be compared. You haven't seen anything like him in this life. So if you, if you can't compare, then the word Akbar is against, as I said, chapter 112. Akbar is not a name of God in Islam. In Arabic grammar, unlike English grammar, to compare, you don't have a superlative degree of the word. For example, in English, you have fast, faster, fastest. But in Arabic, you have to add another expression or word before the word, uh, you know, the compare you're trying to compare with. For example, min, that means then. Then use the word big or tall or small, whatever. So even the word individually, Akbar, means big. Even if you take it as great, even then, you have the word great, greater, greatest in English. But you cannot use words which denote comparison. So the slogan, Allah Akbar, is not in the Quran, as you hear constantly in Azan, goes against chapter 112 of the Quran, Kufu an Ahad. He is non comparable. Azan is not in the Quran. Even the hadith, there are contradictory hadiths about the words of Azan. So the words of Shia Azan and the Sunni Azans are quite different. And also, Muslim scholars were divided in the past about the words of Azan because the scholars of Mecca and the scholars of Medina, they differed in many cases about the words of Azan. Even there is nothing to suggest that Muhammad was dictated Azan by Allah in any of the hadith even. So, Allah Akbar, in fact, against the Quran, against the definition of Allah in the Quran.